number has to do is multiply the integers by y, divide the result by pi, the answer should be... Oh, no, no! Is there a problem, Gretchen? Not a problem, Miss Grokey, the problem. The integral equation that grounded Gretchen Grunwald. Well, perhaps if you put the problem on the board, I could help. Excellent idea, Miss Grokey. It seems quite simple at first to be a quadratic equation, but then there's this non-Euclidean twist. There, any insights? Well, uh, gee, maybe someone else in the class has an idea? <laughs> yeah, right, Miss Brophy. You kill me. There's got to be a solution to our problem. Correction, Gretchen. Your problem. Yeah, I got a problem of my own. How do I get this mall ball into the hands of someone I can smear? Let's see. <gasps> problem solved. <sighs> Someone figured out the answer to Gretchen's problem. Uh, Miss Grodke, it was me. I solved your problem there. Philip, how wonderful. Why don't you step up to the board and show us how you worked it out? Uh, you know what? I was just lying. But if Phil didn't solve Gretchen's math problem, who did? Uh, Gretchen, you know that bell that rang a while ago? It means you can leave. I know, guys. It's just my math problem is solved perfectly. Somewhere in the school is my mathematical soulmate. But for some reason, he or she is hiding from me. Well, you know what they say. If you want to get your math mouse, you need a big piece of math cheese. There. If that doesn't tantalize a mathematically gifted individual, I don't know what will. Someone's coming! Randall! Imagine, within that weasley exterior beats the brain of a genius. What have we here? Vince keeps gum in his desk. Miss Finster will certainly be pleased to know about this. <laughs> Why, that little creep? Let go, Vince. Tomorrow at dodgeball, not gonna be pretty. <gasps> Math. Yuck. Glad school is behind me. Now, where's LaSalle's desk? Kid's usually good for a stick of the sweet stuff. Empty. Crap. Have to waste good money on the vending machine again. It's no use, TJ. I'm afraid this stakeout idea just isn't gonna work. <gasps> Shoot, it's only Hank. Sorry, Gretchen. We tried. I guess we'll never find your mathematical soulmate. Perhaps I should take out an ad in the local paper or post a notice on all.theoretical.mathematics. Or you could just forget about math like us normal kids do. Holy moly! Look! Sooks, he's right. Hank the janitor is a genius. Huh? What are you kids doing here? Hank, you solved the generalized Fermat Wiles equation in five seconds flat. Yeah, a janitor who knows math? What's up with that? Are you a spy? Or an alien? Out with it, man! A spy? An alien? No, I just like math is all. Sometimes the teachers leave these problems on the boards and I solve them. You know, for fun. You mean fun like in fun? Yep, nothing more fun <laughs> than a good hard math problem. Well, you kids take her easy. Well, another case solved. Who's up for some sweet and frosties at Kelso's? I'm buying. I'm in. Me too. You guys go ahead. There's something I need to attend to. Excuse me, Hank. I know you're very busy, but I was wondering if I could talk to you. Sure. Mop and leaves my ears free. Well, I was wondering if you would like to join my new club. Club? What kind of club? A mathematics club. A meeting place for frank and open discussion of math theories, algebraic formulas, exponential functions, and the like. Math club, huh? You know, that sounds like a real gasser. Heck, we could meet down in the boiler room after school. I got a blackboard and chalk down there. Great! I can't wait to tell the others. Well, see you tomorrow. Child prodigies. <laughs> Gotta love them. So, you're saying the formula for A is based on the definition of area in terms of a Riemann integral, i.e. a limit of Riemann sums? Bingo! And the formula for C uses the definition of arc length given a continuously differentiable curve. Guys, is this great or what? Man, that was harsh. I hate midday naps. I'm not going to be able to get to sleep until nine. Hey, guys, great news. Hank says we met at least can meet every day after school, even the occasional lunch hour. No! I can't take another minute in the cold, unyielding world of numbers! What? Uh, but, Mikey, I don't understand. Look, Gretch, we helped you find your genius. We've enjoyed the math club, you know, in theory. But we're kids. We belong in the wild with the fresh air and the asphalt. <sighs> of course. Far be it for me to force my friends to adore something antithetical to their very nature. Uh, yeah. Glad you understand. 
At the same time, I hope you guys won't feel hurt if I throw myself into the math lates. Some of the work we're doing... It's okay, Gretch. We'll miss you, too. Now go numinate some denominators and stuff. We'll be okay. Thank you, TJ. You're a good friend. Abstract fractals, here I come. you're missing. Hank and I are having a verifiable hoot. Hey there, math -keteer. Well, hello, fellow math -or -not. Hey, you never believe the finger paint spill I cleaned up this morning. Look just like a Mandelbrot pattern. That's rich. Uh, but get a load of this. I ran those numbers on that wacky Fourier curve and... I did it! I did it! I ate ten puddings! I ate ten puddings! I am the pudding king! I... I... Uh, I think I'm gonna be sick. I can see that coming. Well, gotta go clean the hall. <sighs> You know, guys, I just don't get it. Hank may possibly be the smartest, most talented person I've ever met. Yet, here he is working as a janitor. It saddens me to think the world will never know the singular genius that is Hank. <sighs> if you'll excuse me, I need to be alone. She's right. With that hyperactive noodle in his noggin, Hank should be out making righteous bucks. Yeah, but before he can make righteous bucks, he's got to get a righteous job. And how's he going to get a good job like that if nobody knows he's a genius? Hey, guys, I got an idea. My disinterested Gen X cousin Toby runs a website. I say we put Hank's notes on the Internet and see if anybody's interested. Hey, it's worth a try. Looky there. Upside down girl swinging ponytail describes a curve on the Euclidean plane of the playground. <laughs> Are you Hank the genius? Uh, yes. I am Professor Rudelstein from the university. My friend, I saw your webpage on the net, and if you are as talented as your equations indicate, then I believe you would flourish in our math department. Webpage? Math department? I don't get it. He's offered you a job, Hank. Think of it as play. And your funnest toy will be our massive supercomputer housed in its very own campus building. I call her Pippi. A supercomputer? Wow, what a fella couldn't do with one of those. <laughs> Are you Hank the Genius? Uh, yeah, that's me. Mister, your country needs you. But I'm just a simple janitor, sir. A janitor who's a genius? And if you think cracking codes and blowing stuff up is cool, you've got a future in this man's army. Do not be alarmed. We are from NASA. Consider joining us, Hank. With your math talent and our space exploration funds, we could make this intergalactic space transport system a reality for the whole family. Monkey shines. Hank, the military is where the action is. Pippi is lonely, Hank. Come be Pippi's friend. Well, uh, gee, I don't know what to say. Go with the glowing ball, guys, Hank. They're way cool. No way, man. Go with the tunnel boring machine. No, Hank. Higher learning is pure and good. What? You're not. I am not. <laughs> Look, I, I know everyone's trying to help me and all, but this is something I gotta figure out for myself. Gee, Hank, I guess word somehow got out about your abilities. Yeah, supercomputers, intergalactic travel, blowing stuff up. These are the things us number guys dream about. But what to choose? What? Wanna know my opinion? Heck, yours is the only one I'm interested in. Well, it occurs to me that in the equation of happiness, there's only one choice. Follow your heart. Follow my heart? That's what I think. Anyway, I just want to say, well, whatever your decision, Hank, good luck. And goodbye. Well, what do you say? Is he going for firepower or high-tech gizmos? It takes life, and whenever he chooses, we should be happy for him. That's what a real friend does. No what-ifs, no second-guessing, no slipping into a deep, dark funk of bitter and relentless grief. Now, now, no need to do any of that. Hank! Tell us, Mr. Hank, what is your decision? Out with it, man. We're ready to roll. Help us, Hank. We need you. Well, I've thought about it long and hard. And the fact is, I like to do all the things you guys have offered. But since I can't, I've decided I'm going to follow my heart. I'm going to... Stay right here. But Hank, what about all these wonderful opportunities? I thought you loved math and junk. I do love math, and that's exactly why I'm staying put. Look, if I go to work for one of these fellas, that would make math a job. And then, what would I do for fun? But what about blowing things up in the time-space continuum? And Pippi? Well, sirs, there's plenty of guys who'd love to mess with that stuff. But as for me, I got a job already, and I wouldn't give it up for the world. Oh, balderdash, this is ridiculous. Where's a draft when you need it? You're making a big mistake, Hank. You'll see. You'll... Fine. Sweep up. That 18 grand will go to someone else. Well, Hank, if you're happy, I'm happy. 
I say we celebrate? Let's take a crack at the linear independence of exponential functions. Gretchen, that's the best offer I've had all day. 